Hey guys, John here. We got something we're going to talk about today. It's really, really cool. I mean, you're going to like this. Get rid of that. I'm going to teach you how to make your very own food saver bags. Now, I get mine from Cabela's, but still, they're a lot, they're a lot of money. I mean, let's be serious. They're, they're, they're a lot of money. I buy them in the bulk like this. It's a 50 foot long, 11 inch wide, cut to size, all right, stuff. But still, it's just, it's like 20 some odd bucks. And sometimes, like, I just got this, okay? It was a big thing of cheese. It's uh, five pounds, yeah, five pounds of cheese. I got it at a really, really, really good deal. But if I gotta use those Cabela bags, it's not that great a deal anymore. I mean, if I save four bucks on something and it takes, nine dollars to put it up well you didn't really save anything so what i try to do is come up with a way to do this i do use those bags but i use them for meat that i have like say i have some bone-in pork chops i gotta use a really really thick mill bag but i got something you're gonna like this what i do is i buy the freezer bags in bulk okay i buy those freezer bags in bulk uh I open it upside down here like that. It's just these, all right? They come in a pack of 112, 428 packs, okay? Uh, I get them at like Sam's. Now, they, believe it or not, you go to the grocery store and one of these puppies right here is going to set you back seven or eight bucks. This whole box right here was 10. So that means you're looking at like 250 for each one of these. That's, that's a really good deal. It's not bad at all. But here's the trick, okay? Here's the bags. Now you gotta go for the freezer ones because they have a they have a little heavier mill. Let's see, the mill on these. What is the mill on these? I don't see it here. <laughs> Where's the box? Maybe you'll tell me the mill here. Well, it's not giving me the mill thickness. Huh. Well, it's thicker than the regular ones, okay? So here's what you want you to do. You see right here you have a, the zipper, that yellow and blue make green there. Stay above the zipper. You'll see there's a, there's a blue set of little ribs here. Let me get this closer here so you can see this. It's a little blue set of ribs that is set right here. It's the blue ones. Here's a little yellow set of ribs up here. What I want you to do is I want you to take your pair of scissors staying right between the zipper and the blue just run that right on up there right along just like that all right you still have your bag right here with the zipper on it but we have those ribs okay so i want you to now snip those and set them aside so they're separate come on here bub there we go like that so you got now you got the blue one and you got the yellow one okay so if you take those and you cut both of those just in half, just like that. So now there's two yellow, two blue, okay? Now, pick up the bag we just cut that from. We got to get rid of that zipper, okay? We're going to do the exact same thing. Just start it and just run right up along it. Ooh, malfunction. Start that, run right up along it, all right? Oh, I might have trouble. I did this a hundred times. All right, so we have our bag now, all right? No zipper on it. So take your product that you want to you want to put away. Now remember, it's important. Don't do this with bone-in pork chops, okay? You do it with bone-in pork chops, you're on your own. And when they go through it and it gets wrecked, go find a mirror and look at it and realize you're the ding-dong. All right? Do it with stuff that's... that's <laughs> be normal, okay? There's always somebody, I do a video like this, and they come on and go, Oh, I tried it with uh, putting screws away, and they poked through. You know, don't, don't, don't be that person. All right, so now we're just going to put the cheese in there. I'm going to lower the camera here so you can get a little better look. Okay, so, get that off to the side. Set you back there now. We have our channel right here, okay, that's the channel. All right, I get it set up first so that it's gonna go down inside the channel. Now I don't move the bag anymore. What I want you to do now is I want you to take 
three of these, the pieces we just cut out, okay? Slide them in between. Slide them all the way down so there's like maybe a half an inch poking out of there, okay? I put the yellow on the left and I put the yellow on the right and then I'll stick one of the blues in the middle, okay? What we're doing here is we are creating the air channels for the air evacuation. All right, once they're there, I'm gonna press those down into the channel. I'm gonna pull it down, and I'm gonna lock it. Okay, so you see the lights that just came on here. Now right here is my vacuum and seal button. I'm gonna press that. Takes a second longer because it's a smaller bag. If it, if it goes for too long, I'll just press the seal. It'll go ahead and seal it now. So when you go to take this off, since it's a thinner bag, you gotta wait a second, let it cool just a little bit, feel it, make sure. And then when it's done, look at there guys, that's what you got. Your vacuum sealed. See that? You created your own. Went right straight through those three. You can see right here what I, what I told you to do. The two yellow ones on the outside, the blue one in the middle. You can see right here that line, that's where it actually sealed at, right across them. And they're small enough and thin enough that it will actually seal right through them. You don't have to worry. As you can see right there, it is tightly sealed. All right. Hope you enjoy that. Hope it works for you. Have a great one.